Hello and welcome back to Kendall Farm. Today, uh, it is the 9th of December. We are working, well, it's, it's early winter. Everything's turned a bit cold. Um, the sun is actually only just up, even though it's about 8 in the morning. And uh, we have a lot of work to do with our cows. Uh, if we pop into the main yard here and open up. Uh, they've been a bit messy in their eating, so we need to clean that up. And then we need to remove this huge pile of muck that's accumulated. Um, we have been storing it here, but uh, I, I don't think it's the best place to store it. So we're going to move that to another barn and move it away from our cows. Uh, we're then going to go and have a look at our sheep and give them a clean up as well. So uh, for most of this, we're going to be using our Kramer here. So we'll jump into that and we'll go and get the right front on it. Start her up. And away we go. Oh, we think we need to do some uh, work on our machinery as well. Right, there is our manure fork and we want to start with oh we want to start with to go get our tractor and trailer so we'll be using the 5m to load up oh uh, i'll go around the other side there we go there we are right so, start her up, and into reverse, and back up, there we are, and then we will just take this round here like so. Right, if we park at a slight angle coming out of here, that will make it easy for both jobs we have to do. So, uh, okay. Right, as we have to do this first, we will open these doors. And then after, we actually need to feed the cows as well, so... There's a lot of work here that needs doing in general. It's a busy time for the animals over the winter. And of course we do have to get the farm ready for uh, the reconstruction work. So the reconstruction work we have going on uh, is going to happen sort of uh, mid to late February. Uh, into spring, into March. Hopefully the farm will uh, it'll only take a month or two. Right, so turn on. And by the time we need to start getting stuff planted and things like that, then, uh, oh, watch out, Tom. Oh, he'll be all right. We'll uh, be in a position where uh, we'll have the farm reconstructed how we want it. I have a lot of plans over the next few months. Right, uh, we'll turn that off as well. There we go. And round. Right, there is our first load. I'll jump back in again and head back down the other end and get the big fork, the manure fork on the front of here. Great piece 
need to get this. Right. So, we need to go in and open up the doors. Because uh, the one thing with the design of these doors is that you have to close that one to open this one. And hopefully, yeah, that gives us enough space. So, yeah, we have this big pile to get rid of. As things begin to thaw, I may go and spread some of this muck on the field, ready to cultivate it in. For the new, um, for the new sowing season. Tom, do you have to play around here? I'm gonna get I'm going to be worried about you the whole time. Alright, he's headed off. That's good. He can be a very silly cat sometimes. Right, oh, this is a very big pile. This is going to take us a while, I think, to get rid of this. I had to look around the yard quite a bit to find somewhere where I could store it, though. Uh, we do have somewhere. We have uh, some space at a barn at the back, the other side of the slurry pits. So we're going to use that. Take this trailer to the workshop, maybe, and increase its size. That might help us. I don't want to spend a lot of money at the moment. There we go. To, we need to save every penny we can for the improvements we're going to make to the farm. If we can get, oh. if we can get them right, it's going to make a massive difference to us. I've turned too early and not given myself enough space to turn out. There we go. Nice and full. Let's park here. And jump back into here. And off we go. Right. So, we're taking this. Round out this way. Not in this gateway, but in this far one here. And we have a, a set of barns down here. Oh. There we go. We have a set of barns down here that we use that we don't actually use for anything at the moment. So we're going to put our piles 
our pile of manure. You alright? Yeah, there we go. Uh, put our pile of manure in there, I think. Yeah, there we are. Over here. Now, ideally, I think I'd like to put it at the back, but we'll... Because uh, what I'm going to do is put some equipment over here. So we're just going to turn around. And get this. There we go. Right. So we're going to put it in the back barn. Back of the barn. Over here. Oh, too far. Right, now we want to swing round. Not quite that sharply, though. going to plonk it at the back down here. That topped stuff is getting a little bit in the way. Straighten up a bit. Oh, now I've got that. Either side of me. That's not good. Why we've... Ah, oh, that must be some building materials for the new... Sometimes this happens on a farm. You get yourself into a sticky situation. The only way to get out of it is to reposition. Alright. Yeah, it happens. I've been in worse situations on the farm. There we go. Right. Then we'll go back as we want to go forwards. We need to be closer. Yeah. To that post. No, even that won't work. There we go. Right. I think that's all of it. It's not a huge pile, that. Yep. Right. And away we go. So, yeah. That is where we're going to put it all. Like so. I think I might open the gate to the cows because otherwise we're going to need to do this each time. Which I don't really want to be reversing up here like this each time. There we 
go. And there we are. So. Well. Get the rest of this. Uh, filled up. Might have to reverse that truck trap slightly. That may not be in the best of positions for us at the moment. That's a lot of muck to get out of here. Awful lot of muck to get out of here. Well, he's going down. Right, it's going to be four or five loads of this in order to uh, to properly empty it. We may have to. Ah, oh, yeah, we are moving muck, definitely. You can see the pile going down, but it is feeling like it's a lot to go. So, the day is young. And there's plenty of time to do it. Right. There we go. We should, with only that, be quicker this time. I think we're full. We're full. Couldn't figure out what was going on then. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Close the door. And away we go. Quite dark in the shade in places. Right, 
So we come up here. And you can see Lou, we could just we could just place the muck outside. Although having already tipped a pile of it, I'm less inclined to try and move it somewhere else. Alright, we'll go in this way this time. Yeah. Give us more maneuverability, like so. Back round to the main yard. Like this, and get all positioned. Like so. There we go. Alright, and we'll get the next load done. Yeah, this is a mucky job. Oh, watch out, Tom. Pile is going down. We're on our third trailer full. So it's. Yeah. This is an awful lot of muck. An awful lot of muck. It will keep us going for a while. And the thing is that it's just free fertilizer, which is fantastic. Yeah, and that's the beautiful thing about this, this farm, is that it all sort of works together and gives us uh, brings it all back to the cows which of course are our main source of income on here um, although the sheep will uh, really does well when it does well but we tend to hold on to that until it's really wanted but the cow's milk we sell on a daily basis and uh, and yeah Brings in enough to support everything on the farm. And occasionally allows us to buy the, uh, a new tractor or two. Although that does take a decade or so. The thing is, if we invest in the farm, then we tend to do well. Whoa! Ah! Ah, oh, look at the mess I made. Right, okay. Let's just clear that up quickly. So we 
I get for not closing the jaws on the uh, There we go. Right, so uh, oh, we're perfect in the way for when we come back. That's head like that and like that. There we go. There we go. Right. And we're going to tip this. Then we've got time for just one more load after this, uh, which may not complete the job, but I'll uh, I'll finish that off off camera because um, I don't want to do uh, too much of something and uh, and bore you guys because work around the farm can be quite repetitive sometimes. Uh, I should mention a little bit well the plans the plans for the farm I will have a better idea of next time I think uh, and I'll let you guys n know roughly what we're gonna do I think uh, we will still be working with the cows I'd have thought uh, I still want to show you guys uh, properly feeding them and uh, and getting their feed up and uh, So we have that. There we go. It's not looking such a humongous pile here. There we are. That's fully tipped. Yeah, that's a much smaller hole than going in how we are. Is my trailer down? Yes. Okay, good. Right, so we'll do one more load. Uh, which won't be enough to finish off the pile, I do know that much. Oh, oh dear. He'll still be running around. He knows how to avoid a tractor tyre, thankfully. Right, there he is. Yeah, he's fine. Playing with something on the ground. You always have to watch out for Tom. Oh, really, little cat? I oh, know you can play that. Okay. again. I'm running through that barn again in a minute. If I 
don't know him. We've put a significant dent in this pile of muck anyway. Go, I fell again. Go. And we'll head off and get this tipped, and that is where we will end this time. There we go. Corner still, probably without trying to do it through that post. Let's go around. There we are. Up on the pile. There we go. Right. So we'll take this back over the other side because I'm going to finish this off. Shouldn't be more than a couple more loads, I don't think, now. But uh, we will leave you guys there when we get back. There we go.
so. All that remains is uh, for me to say thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed this trip to Kendall Farm. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.